hands, touching hands, reaching out, touching me, touching you. So, hello and welcome. We're playing Watford today and Southampton. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I am really looking forward to it. So, without further ado, yeah, first Premier League game of the season. We're going for this lineup. Oh, actually, Ampadu, I love you. You're amazing. But we got Diego Godin, people. We got Diego Godin. 87 rated boys. And Pellegrini. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, one of them has to feel the. Oh. oh. I can... No, I can't. I physically can't. Uh, Liam Kelly got the reserves. <laughs> We're having three strikes on the bench. I don't care. I've got to fit everyone in. Anyway, it's the starting lineup for our first Premier League game. People are going down in overall already. But whatever, we'll manage. We'll manage. Right then, you wouldn't be sick. Okay, so here we go. Out Vicarage Road. There he is, Gerard Delphio, decent player. Interesting that they've. Is that Brahimi or the Brazilian guy? They kind of look alike. It's a problem with having players that don't have real faces. Here we are. Premier League football. Away at Vicarage Road. Still have to wait for our first Madeski game at the in the new era of Reading, the new Premier League season. But a big game against Watford. Interesting, they have the family stand away next to the away fans. Like, uh, no, don't take selfies at football games. Especially not this soon to kick off. It's, it's Tim Pop. There he is, Big Diego Golden. Anyway, let's go to the season. Come on, you ours! Real test, because Watford are a decent side to see what sort of level we're at. Pietro Pellegrini will come on at half time. Try and do a bit of damage on his debut. There's the opening goal! And who else but Arpy? Right after the restart, Arp gives us our first Premier League goal of the season. Lovely little dink. Back inside. Just rolls it under the goalkeeper. Reading 1, Watford 0. Out for a corner for Watford. Oh, no. Oh, no. Watford player rises, and that's one of the greatest overhead kicks I've seen on this game. By Ducore. And Watford equalise. Go on. Yes! Brahimi wins it at the death. Oh, and there's nothing more than we deserved. Arp found him, and Brahimi did the rest. Abraham can come on for the Tyrant Golden. Just to add a bit of steel back into our defence. We've really got to just not concede now. Watford coming forward with menace, with purpose, with storage. Now to Kure, and chipped in, and headed goalwards. Whoo! It's wide, and we have won our first Premier League game of the year. 
2-1 victory away at Watford. We deserved it. Villa won the playoffs. Stoke obviously up, so it's not... Uh, Preston would have been fun, but yeah, whatever. Whew, third in the league. Could get used to this. Right, so up next we have the visit of Southampton to the Medeski. Jacob Godin has to come into the team. He's a fantastic, fantastic player. I love him so much. He's amazing. <laughs> uh, Pellegrini can go there. Uh, Sam Smith, he's still here. I'm tempted to release him, but just to get him out. Anyway. Strakosha Year. Strakosha Year Dom Golden Moore Abita. Durado, Brahimi, Barrow, Sancho, Arb, and Junior. Come on, Redding. Up the ding. Come on, you ours. Here we are. It's a cloudy evening at the Medeski. For Reading versus Southampton, the first Premier League game at the Medeski since 2013. Under the floodlights against Man City. Game I didn't actually attend uh, because uh, it's during my sats, I believe. <laughs> That's how long ago it was. Bloody hell! But we're back in the Premier League, and we got the new graphics, which we're just going to enjoy for our first home game. Jaden Sancho, Arp, and Junior. Anyway. Come on, running! Let's get another three points on the board. Come on, you ours! Again, pushing, hopefully, for Champions League this year is sort of... You know, that would be nice. But Europa League is sort of the aim. Vinicius! Vinicius! Vinicius Junior. Problem is, I I mean, yeah, Vinicius is how I sort of say it in my head when it's Vinicius, 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 or Junior. We could just call him Junior. Either way, yeah, we'll call him Junior. I think Vinicius. Ultimately, in this series, I think the win is getting Mbappe. EA have made a brave call, saying he can get better than Messi and Ronaldo are now. Like that, that's a big call. Because a lot of people will be unhappy at that. Not me, because I probably, I'd say he can, but I say he's already better than both, than both at the moment. As Brahimi scores. Yassin Brahimi! It's his second goal of the season, almost identical to the one against Watford, I'd say. Once again, sort of played through on that right hand side by Arp and drills it home. Reading 2, Southampton 0. Barrow. Seemed to be the only way we could actually get that cross in with the Ramona. Sadly, though, the days of McCleary's aerial ability is actually gone in our team. Brahim is much shorter, but a much better dribbler, quicker. And McCleary couldn't really do that. Arp, oh, no doubt about that. As soon as it fell to him in the box, we knew Arp was going to finish it. He always does, he always will do. With 91 finishing, it's hard to see him ever missing from that range. And uh, Brahimi, I, I'm already mad about him. He's so good. And McCarthy couldn't do anything about it because the ball was past him before it even jumped, it seemed. What a man. What a man. What a man. Arp is amazing. I think we need to switch the strikers round. Because right now, Arp's not really getting... He loves to cut in and finesse. He's not really getting that opportunity. Well, Vinicius is much more of a runner, so it will make more sense for him to be on his right foot. 
Just my personal thoughts, so I need to change that. Headed home. Southampton, pull one back. We can't give a clean sheet. Ah, oh, it's fine. It's fine. Saints attacking one last time. They failed. Now ball up the line. Up. Sancho. Foul. No, Ampadu. Sorry, it was Ampadu. Doesn't matter. Full time whistle goes. Reading have won again, 3-1, this time a bit more convincing. Although Southampton were probably better than Watford were, in terms of, you look, they had nine shots, Watford only had like four. So, you know, interesting. <laughs> interesting. Oh, 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 look at the menu. That's nice. Press conference ahead of Austria Vienne. Or Wien. Probably Wien, right? Yeah, I don't know. I've never been to Austria. I can't pretend like I know anything about the country. Right, Ampadu up to 77, so, you know, quickly catching up with Golden. Sancho about to become 80. Vinicius, we need we need to do that. Do that. Do that. No. Oh. Where is he? Where's he gone? Abraham. There we go. There we go. Done. That's our that's our team. Arp is now on his preferred side. And yeah. So I'll be back for the Austria game. If you did enjoy this episode, please do leave a like. Subscribe if you're new and notification bell is on. Don't want to miss a video. I've been Rosie17. Thank you and cheerio. All die verschwommenen dunklen Bilder werden klar Und alles, was sie sagt, wird wahr Ich bin so schön verstrahlt Ich heb ab zum Mars 10.000 Grad 10.000 Farben Bin so schön verstrahlt Ich denk nicht mehr nach Brauch keinen Schlaf Brauch keinen Plan Ich bin so schön verstrahlt